Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm in the downtown Boise, Idaho area. And in this video, I'm going to show you some scenes along the Boise River Greenbelt. The Greenbelt is a hiking biking path that follows right along the Boise River. Most of the way is on both sides of the river, and it starts way on the south east side of town and goes way up on the northwest side of town. So I'm going to be covering mostly the area around the Ann Morrison Park. That is the downtown area and then here is the southeast area of Boise and it goes up to northwest and it actually starts much much further southeast than Boise. Most of it is a real nice paved two-way path like this. When you get into the far outskirts of town, some places it is not a paved path. And there is a lot of things to see on the way. Veterans Memorial Park and two more parks, Shoreline Park, several parks along the way here. This is on the south side of the river where there is just numerous parks along the way. Look how swiftly the water is going on that side. They barely made it over. <laughs> on this side it's a lot slower. There's a good team. Most of the river is very tree line like this, so it's hard to see well. This is a Saturday, by the way, so there's a lot of people out on the river today. I'm up on a footbridge across the river here. So I'm going to go to the other side and see if the view is any better there. This is right beside the 9th Street Bridge on the north side of the river. They have the statue of Anne Frank and theater seating. So they give some kind of programs here. And right next to the Anne Frank Memorial they have this little waterfall and pond here. Another little waterfall there. And then they have this. This memorial exposes the many forms discrimination can take and the suffering it can cause. What can you do to stop this dangerous cycle of hate? First, be aware. Education is a lifelong journey. Learn about history. Show your civic power and that of others through action. The people whose lives are reflected in this memorial, young, old, marginalized, influential, their lives have shaped history. There are several bridges across the river, and they have these tunnels for this hiking, biking trail. Just west of 9th Street is a cafe here, and they have a nice little waterfall going. They actually have a little beach sort of area here. It's where people get in and out with their floats. bunch of them here. There's several people on a raft. Well, now I see why everybody's getting out. <laughs> 
dam ahead. Yes, that would be a danger for floating on rafts. It is a really nice park they have here. Very green. I think I see why they call it the green belt. I'm not sure if this is the dam they're referring to. It's not much of a dam. And there is an open area here you could float down. That looked pretty calm, but I take it back. This is not a place where you want to be floating. <laughs> well, this is the dam. So you can float over, but you better be a really experienced floater to keep from hurting yourself going over that dam. It looks like it's only maybe four feet high. So it couldn't be too terrible if you know what you're doing. Look how clean the water is here. It is really clear. Of course, here it's only a few inches deep, but further out, it still looks pretty clean. This is one of the companies that has buses that stop by here, and they rent those rafts and all kinds of water recreation equipment at their place, and then they put you on the river way down southeast and then they come pick you up here and bring you back to the parking lot at their business location. They have a sand volleyball court here and a bunch of exercise equipment which people don't seem to be interested in. <laughs> you have a few picnic tables here and there. Some people just sitting around on the grass on a blanket or something. And then, this covered area here is for people like me, the old timers. <laughs> Another thing they have is this memorial dedicated to firefighters. It's a nice statue they have here. Next to the Firefighters Memorial, they have this World Trade Center Memorial. And they have this board with the names of firefighters and other responders who died on 9-11. A dreaded day for all of us. We've also got a really nice big fountain here if you don't want to go in the river this would cool you off too there's a little pond here too very popular with the ducks mostly <laughs> Wow, that is quite a congregation. And just some of them are in the water here. That's right, buddy. Nice day. What are they doing? Gonna blow up a raft. You seem to be getting a lot to eat here. I don't know what it is. Imagine a life like this. You just tromp around, your, get your food off the ground, and then just float around the rest of the day. And occasionally listening to the dogs fight each other, or whatever they're doing, playing with each other. <laughs> They got something going on there. 
I don't know if they're mad or happy. This is the area just below the dam, which looks like it would be some good floating water as well. Well, if you're going through Boise on a day as nice as this, you might want to call one of the companies that rents the floats and brings you here. I bet that would be a fun day for all. I've done that before in other places and times myself. Good day, folks.